review Everybody get your hands up for the brew review Come on everybody, let's dip it on back Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC Everybody here knows that it's BYOB Tell me how it tastes, tell me, tell me how it smells Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right It's the brew review, so we gonna party all night Alright, what's going on guys and gals, and we are back for yet another fun edition of the Brew Review. And what we got for you today is something very foreign, very unusual, like, <laughs> I think it's pronounced Asahi? Asahi. It, it's a Japanese beer. We did Sing Dao for China, now we're doing Japanese beer. A little beer. cap shot, we're going to take you around the bottle here, it says it's super dry. Asahi Draft Beer. The beer for all seasons. <laughs> so apparently it's a seasonal for every month. Which means they make it full time. Yeah. Dumbass. Alright, so it's, you can see it's got the weird lettering and shit that you can't make out. It's in Japanese, yep. Um, and nothing really on that side of the bottle, but it's 12 full ounces. Doesn't say the content. So the Japanese aren't screwing us out. Come children, history time, since this is new. It's a new one. Yeah. The uh, Asahi Brewing Company was founded in 1889, so it was very old. Uh, it was, let me see here, founded as the Osaka Beer, Beer, Beer Company. Osaka! During the First World War, German prisoners worked in the brewery, so the Germans made some of this shit. Wow. But then, as I was doing research, I found something very interesting. In early 2009... Asahi acquired 19.9% of Singdao Brewery from Anheuser-Busch for $667 million. Once again, Anheuser-Busch in the equation. You fuckers. But the sale made Asahi Brewery the second largest shareholder in Singdao behind only Singdao themselves. So, they own half of Singdao. Huh. The Japanese own half of China. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. And on the bottle... I noticed this too. Brewed and bottled under Asahi supervision by Molson Canada. Wait, so the Germans used to make this beer and now Canada does? So basically, it's a German brewed beer that owns half of a Chinese beer company. It's diamond, eh? Brewed in Canada, distributed through Canada. <laughs> So I wonder how much of a percentage of this is pure Japanese. Probably that little tiny bit right there. Everything else is either Chinese, Canadian, German. Actually, the states is kind of involved since Anheuser Busch once had it. So, so they're they're shared. Just they're, but there there's like bit more. four countries involved in this beer. This better be some damn good beer. I'll tell you that. Goddamn yeah. much. But it's almost like a worldwide orgy here. Is brewed from selected ingredients using our pure cultured yeast and our advanced brewing techniques. Asahi beer has excellent richness, truly refreshing drinkability, and satin smoothness. Oh. I like how they say drinkability. Mm. Oh. Oh. Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. So, He's going to rub one off. I'm... I'm, t I'm totally drawing a blank here, dog. What do we usually do with this beer? Do we just open it up and drink it? Or what What all do we go for? Oh, yeah! We are going to do... I forget. Uh, I, I forgot what we were doing, Kramit. I it. think we open we, that. We do the... Yeah, we do the cap test. We do the body and the head test. The drink test and draft test. All that good stuff. Oh! Is that what we do? Yeah! Okay. I think so. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. I thought I saw something on here, but I guess I didn't. I thought I saw an arrow pointing towards it. But... Let's so, find out if it's a twist off. Yes, it's the, the debut of this beer. And wow, yes Whoa. it is. <laughs> yes it is, people. And that, look at his giddiness once again. That's the Japanese for you. To make this shit easy to open up, that's why they are decades ahead of us dumbass Americans. Yeah, I just yeah, It's that. true. That's like that thing on South Park. I like, stupid American. When they were playing dodgeball. Do you have any non-dairy creamer? I'll use my credit card. Ah! <laughs> anyway, back to the brew view. Smells like a lager. Alright. Smells 
like a bear. Yeah, it's it's a pretty typical smell. There's nothing, little, nothing really spectacular. No, nothing about special. It. I mean, it doesn't really stand out now, smell wise. This says it's super dry, so so it could be a grassy like. Well, it didn't have a grass smell to it though. Yeah, but I don't know. It, we're gonna find out if it's super dry or if it's just dry or if it's just a lager or I don't know. It's Japanese. Made by Germans, distributed by Canadians. Hey. And they own half of China. Drink that motherfucker. Well. Huh. Not sure what to think. Okay, draft, or not draft. Not it. draft. Flavor. Flavor, but I'm not with it today. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> He's not drunk yet. What do you think? I've had worse, and I've had better. I, yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how I can describe that one in a nutshell. I can't say it's bad, but I can't say it's good. Well, maybe we were so spoiled from the last episode. Maybe. I can tell you right now that the last episode was way better than this. If you don't know what the last episode was, go to our playlist. These are the worst kind of beers that we do because we can't give you a straightforward answer. We can't say if it's good or bad. It's okay. It's... Would I go out and buy more of this? No. Would it's, I drink well, it? I'll, I'll, I'll put it like this. It's, it's craft pack worthy. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's try it out of glass. We, I'll save my opinions for the draft. And yeah, you can see it's, it's not really. It's pretty light. It, I mean, it's it got a light. little bit of head to it, a little bit of carbonation. Oh. Wow, that is light. And it's very clear more. too. That's clearer than what I thought it would be. It's not all hazy like the last couple were. No. So, again, this is a little much like your lighter beer. Yeah. Like you hand this to me, I'm thinking Coors Light. I'm thinking something light. That that would probably be a good comparison, but I don't know. I think it it has a stronger taste than Coors Light. I think. Oh no doubt. It's stronger tasting than any light beer. I think. Let's see if how it is in draft form. There's somebody with their shitty exhaust outside there. I don't know if you heard that or not. Small penis brigade. Woo! Yeah, he ran it about that on one of his reality sucks videos. I think. I don't know. It's... Yeah, I don't know. It smells about the same out of the glass. It's... It's drinkable. That's all I can say. If desperation called for desperate measures, then hell yeah, I'd drink it. Yeah. yeah. But, not my last choice, not my first it's, choice. It's, it's, it's in the middle. <laughs> so... If, it's it's going to be one of the, it's one of those, the only thing memorable about it has to be the bottle. No doubt. Since it's a, it's a Japanese beer, that's the only thing that's really memorable about it. Uh, this is going to be like um, that Walua that we did from Hawaii. Yeah. Are we going to remember it as one of our favorites? Well, no. we do now, but not as a favorite. Right. But I think we'll remember it as it not being a favorite. We're only going to remember it as episode 119 at the Brewer View. <laughs> yeah. This That's about it. Ratings. I'll go right down the middle. Three. Yeah. It's as basic a beer as you can get. It has no... It has nothing memorable about it except that it's from Jap... It's a Japanese beer brewed by Germans, distributed by Canadians. Well, That's memorable. That's the only thing memorable about it. I was going to say a three... But you know the the packaging. The, they always say packaging is a big marketing marketing tool. Right. I can't speak. It's a big marketing tool. 
I'm not drunk, people. He's not drunk yet. No, no but as I was saying, saying as I was saying, I'm going to bump it up another half a point. So I'm going to give it three and a half for the marketing. I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you that because, again, when I was walking through Wegmans, I got this at Wegmans. You're like, oh, that's cool. The craft pack, yeah. The first thing I did was look at this. I'm like, holy shit, it's a Japanese beer. I got to try it. Yeah. So definitely packaging. Okay. Uh, You've talked me into it. I'm going to bump it up half a point, too. So three and a half for both you, of us on you this. You did talk me into that. The packaging was the only selling point for me with this. Hmm. But as far as me ever drinking this again, probably not. Sorry, Japan. Your Germans brewed probably a bad batch, and it was distributed by... Well, Canadians. they were pissed off because they were pissing in it. Because well, they were the they slaves. They were German That's prisoners. Why. What do you expect? No, but with all seriousness, yep, we said three and a half. It's drinkable, but not memorable. No. But if it's the last thing that's in your fridge in your house, yeah, I'd recommend it then. No, 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 but, no, uh, no doubt. If but, it was handed to me, I'd drink it. But yeah, we uh, got a lot more on tap for you in the coming weeks, so yes. stay tuned and we'll see you later. Next, next, next week, 120. Yeah, it's kind of a landmark, so... Stay tuned to that, and yeah, this concludes this edition on uh, As Asashi. Asahi. 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 I, I guess and that's how it's called. Anybody out Asahi. there? Anybody out there speaks Japanese? Asahi. Correct us, because we might have just insulted the entire Japanese country. Oh, who cares? All right, we'll see you later.